It's summertime, time to get out in the yard, but my yard has been neglected since last summer. I can see that the plants and the flowers are starting to pop up, but it's a real mess out here. I have pine needles, branches, and weeds to clean up. I'm planning on having a graduation party for my son in the backyard, so I have a lot of work to do. First, I'm gonna start by cleaning up these pine needles. Underneath the pine needles is mulch that I put down last year, and it's a rich, dark color. Uh, so I'm going to get the pine needles up and freshen up the mulch. Since the pine straw is a lot lighter than the mulch, you can use a rake or a broom to gently separate the pine straw from the mulch underneath. The mulch will usually stay in place. I have a lot of pine needles that fell from all the pine trees in my yard, so I think I'm going to save most of this and use it as pine straw in other parts of my yard. While I'm cleaning up the pine needles, I might as well trim some of the bushes so I can pick that up at the same time. I planted jasmine on my lattice. Jasmine has an incredible scent. When the flowers bloom, you can smell it as soon as you walk in the yard. While it's growing, I had to trim it and position it to train it to fill in the lattice. After cleaning up the pine needles and picking up debris and trimming the hedges, the yard looks so much better. And I haven't even put down new mulch yet. So now it's time to spray the yard for weeds. One of the main weed problems I have in my yard is this vine here. Uh, this vine is called Virginia Creeper and it's actually usually mistaken for poison ivy because it's very similar. It looks like it and um, it grows the same way and in the same areas, but it has five leaves and poison ivy has three leaves. And this is not considered a poisonous plant, but it does have a crystal on it that is an irritant to a lot of people's skin. Um, and I am one of those people and my son, who I'm giving the party for, is extremely sensitive to this. When we get touched by this plant, we get a rash that lasts for about a week. So it acts pretty much the same as poison ivy. So I'm going to have to get rid of this. So I'm using this ortho poison ivy spray. I like it because it's really strong and it kills the Virginia creeper. It also gets to the root. So this is a vine and it probably starts all the way back in the woods and it'll be really hard for me to, to get to where it starts. Uh, but this will seep into the plant and um, get into the roots and kill everything. Inside and around my beds, I'm spraying weed killer, a weed killer called Durozone. It's supposed to stick to whatever you spray and um, prevent the weeds from growing for up to six months. So I'm gonna be careful to spray in the areas that I'm not gonna plant. And I'm putting um, some landscaping paper around the bushes and plants that I have there already. I also have a lot of grass and weeds growing up around the edges inside the rocks, so I'm spraying all of that. And lastly, I'm going to spray the yard for mosquitoes and bugs. I got this backyard off and you just attach it to your hose and just spray the entire yard, the plants, everything. I'm also spraying into my rocks because there's a lot of water that flows through the rocks. Mosquitoes like to lay eggs there, so I want to kill the eggs before they hatch. This will last for about eight weeks, but I'm gonna spray now and spray again right before the party. So the weeds will start dying in about a day or so, and now that I got all the cleanup done, I'll be ready to start planting. Then I'll add a fresh layer of mulch after I plant the flowers. Up next, I'll be brightening up the yard with some colorful annuals.